Darlin, I've been wanting to talk to you since we got here. Uh, Lisa Richards, you sort of made all this possible. I mean, certainly for us, but I think uh, of all the people I see running around here, and there are a lot, I see you running the most. What are you doing? What, what is your job here? And, uh, and uh, or what isn't your job here? Probably a better question. Um, I've been working um, with Chris and Glenn here, two of the local sailors here, working with them since last June. Um, just organizing this event and bringing it all together. And um, they asked me to help them um, sort of strategically put in the documentation in place that they're, they're not able to do. And I happily said, yes, I'd love to help them. Um, sort of running up to the event over the last sort of month coming in, I've had a, a great team helping out, both here at DOSC and other volunteers who've just been fantastic to, uh, to help us because I can't do this by myself. Tell, um, tell us about that. Do you have a position with the DOSC normally? or? Um, I'm a club member, um, but my, my job is event management. Okay. Um, so um, they asked me with my skills to come in and, um, and help organize the event and put it together. And uh, hopefully we've, uh, we've done a great job. Well, um, uh, can, we, can we hire you to come to the States and do a little stuff for us? I'd love to. Yeah? I'd love to. Because I'm really impressed. <laughs> What about, we'll talk about DOSC for a second. I mean, we haven't done too much about the club itself other than to say it's really nice, because it is. Um, what's the club's purpose and, and, and sort of uh, how big is it? Um, the club's purpose is um, really um, a center for, for people who love sailing. It brings together a lot of um, common-minded people. Um, I think for us it's a bit of an escape in Dubai, as you've probably been around. There's a bit of glitz going on sometimes out there, but this is a real center of normality for us. Um, a lot of nationalities, coming together, especially at the weekend, to do club racing. Um, also, they're, they're a, the, um, the only RYA-affiliated centre in Dubai. So the, the sailing courses they run right from the Little Oppies, the Optimists, right up to um, the higher level um, cruising courses for the, uh, the Yacht Masters. Um, the, cent the, um, the club also um, has, runs a programme called Sailability, um, which is for kids with special needs. Mm -hmm. Um, so they do courses once a week and they bring kids from some of the special needs schools, both um, national UAE national children and expat children, and they give them the opportunity to get out on the water. Well, that, and that's something I haven't seen a lot of that I was thinking maybe we would is, obviously there's, there's, there's a lot of money here, I've got, you know, there's a Rolls Royce right behind us, um, but I haven't seen a lot of UAE sort of uh, 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 citizens uh, around the club, maybe a, a few. Um, but uh, uh, do they sail? I mean, uh, do, 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 the, do the Emiratis sail much? Um, the, well, the traditional sailing in this region is, of course, the dowel racing, right. which you have to be in a, a UAE national to sail. Um, we haven't been able to see any during this uh, week. We, we actually did get some footage of one oh, of them. There was a 43 out the other day. Brilliant. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, so we do have a few, um, a few nationals that sail. I think there's a team of, of young nationals actually that sail out of DIMC up the road, mm -hmm. and they do really well in the competitions. Um, of course, also, um, the club runs a Dubai Muscat race which is the next race will be in November. It's been running since 92 every year. Mm -hmm. We have about 20 boats that um, leave from Dubai and they sail around to Muscat. It's Muscat and Oman. It is Muscat and Oman. And we do get um, competitors that come over from Qatar and um, from Bahrain. Um, so the, the Omani boats join us here and we all set sail from Dubai. It's about a five or six day sail round. Well, I think we might do the drive over to Oman on Monday uh, tell them to, to, to see Oman sail and uh, Ingmar, our friend over there. Um, but tell us what to expect from uh, that program, which is sort of like, uh, I don't know if they're your sister sort of program uh, in Oman, but um, they're certainly doing a lot with sailing nowadays. They are. They're doing an amazing amount, especially in the region. I don't know a lot of details myself, but there you'll learn. But uh, Oman's a beautiful place. Really, You'll see an awful lot more of, of the locals when you go sailing over there. Right, right. An awful lot more. Yeah. Um, the moths. This is, I, I don't know how many world championships you have here. I can't imagine you have too many. Um, but, but uh, uh, you know, has it, is it what you expected? It's better. It's been amazing. Um, we find that most of the, the World Style Championship would go up the road to the DIMC. Um, but I think DOSC is probably is, is very well suited to, to the smaller boats. And um, we've got great facilities it's a here. It's perfect beach. I mean, you, can't, you couldn't find a better beach. No, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's brought a lot of atmosphere to the club. I think a lot of the members have really enjoyed um, watching people tinkering with their boats, which sometimes you miss when you've got a, you know, a lot of keel boats in the, in the harbour here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been great. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, you know, you're obviously a very light uh, woman, <laughs> you look fit. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys have taken girls out on their boats before. You want to get on, get on one and see what it's like to go foiling? I'd love to. All right. well, we'll see if we can make that happen. Thank you, Alan. All right. Thank you, guys. And uh, that'll wrap up our coverage for day four of the Dubai Puma Moth World Championship. This is Sailing Anarchy. I am Mr. Clean and I am going to get a drink.